Good afternoon people, this is Sam South Carolina Happy Bees. It's about 71, 72 degrees out here. We have the sun. It is January the 2nd. Yes, January the 2nd, 23. And the bees are just flying all over the place. They're down there. That's how they're getting in and out. They got the little opening. Three frame uh, nuke box. I have number 302 grapevine. And then over here, what we have is. Ooh, let's find it. Must be right in there. Get over here and see what we can do. Now. Yeah, there it is. I see it now. That right there. All the bees coming in and out of the dry pollen feeder. We make those, and all you know, all it is is a. I think that was a four-inch uh, water line, drain line, sewage line, and got a cap on it, some other stuff. But that's what that is. Let's get back to the bees. I want to know more of that about the other thing. I don't know. We're get, it's three deep. We're going to take the top box off and put over here on your left. And then we're going to see what we got. Don't know exactly what's in there. My um, list blew off. Okay, they're eating your food. Let's see what we got down here. A bunch of bees in a little group right down here in the top. I want to make sure that we don't have a queen in that group. Okay. They've eaten their sugar. Their feet of rain. Paper and stuff that they haven't taken out yet. They're over here eating. Probably some propolis underneath there. We got bees underneath there though. So we need to fix it so we don't squish any bees. Yeah, that's when we're getting them out. Okay, we're over here now at the top. We're going to take the top off and just sit it over here. That way we can go through them better, I think. Make sure y'all can see. Y'all can see this. Weather in South Carolina now is it will freeze you to death one minute. And then the next day you can go swimming. Ok, 
Okay, up here, this one here. There's a lot of bees on it. Got some honey, got some stores. Let's see. <clears throat> Don't see any eggs. Queen, ardent, or brood. But that's okay. That's them. Both sides. We're going to set it right over here. Here we go. Have pretty nice weather here for a few days. This one here has eggs and larvae and a yellow queen. Yellow queen right in here. But that one here has brood and larvae and stuff on it. Take it right back where she was at because we don't want to. She's in the right place. I mean, she's in the top box. And she has room up there to lay. So far. This one here has brood and larvae and eggs. This one too. See, she's laying. She's up in the top to where she's staying warm. I don't know what the theme of this video should be. This one here is a good frame for her to lay in. It's got some stores. This one here has some brood. And they all look healthy. Here has some store zone, has some honey, they're flesh pestuni. He's a building the foundation. And that's what they're doing now. And that's the top box where the queen is in. And you people up north or wherever it's cold cold now. You gotta remember your bees will get okay. They'll start growing like these bees will. Might not be as calm as these girls. We're gonna go down and get cloth. Cover them up. Oh, girls. They want to roll off here on the side. They're in there now. Okay. Get them clogged safe. People from getting too sunburned, too windburned, too robbed out. Back 
So this one now. But anyway, the people up in cold weather, your bees will get this way. They'll, they'll start growing again. I've lost a lot of them. The freezing we had that last bunch of little queens that didn't build up very fast because of the weather back in November. This one here has honey. They don't have much pollen. But y'all saw what they were doing in the pollen feeder. Honey on it, stores. Right there. This one has a little honey on it. Both sides. Some people talk about the way I feed them and everything. With the pollen and the sugar and stuff like that. And you know, I don't mind asking questions or talking about it or not even agreeing with it. Yeah. That's life. Everybody has a, their own way of doing things, and that's what they're supposed to be doing. That's why we're keeping bees. If I lived up in New York, or some other cold place, Illinois or something, I would probably be raising them different. Got honey on it. Now they're going to start brooding up. What I got to do is make sure that the boxes stays pretty full of bees. Because it's going to get cold again. They're going to need to take care of the bees. This is another food warehouse. You see, now this, this, another thing. Is this honey that's in here? I don't know exactly what kind of honey it would be. So we're just going to let the bees eat it up. From the honey flow, we're going to stop feeding them. That way they can eat what's in here and then what they put in their cap. We know it's going to be pure honey. And that honey is honey that we'll sell or do whatever we're going to do with it. seen the yellow queen so we need to look for her. It's got little stores in it. The bottom looks like they got a pretty good amount of bees in there. We're not going to go to the bottom. We've seen what we need to see. We saw that they got food. They got a lot of bees. And they're happy bees. Aren't you girls? Put up some pollen in there. And then we'll take some of this honey now and make splits with it. As soon as we start getting drones, we don't make splits until we got drones. We don't make queens until we've got drones. 
we like our queens to be mated at least with 18, 20, 30 drones. Yeah, y'all call them what you want to. They're just girls. And that's the way these bees are put together. bit more here than I thought. And we'll give them some more sugar and some pollen. I don't know how much sugar we're going to give them. There's any thing out of Had one person, I think it was Hope, which lives up in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is north from us. And she said that their maple trees are blooming. Maple trees are blooming, so they'll be getting some nectar and stuff from that. There, put your feeder ring back on. Make sure y'all can see what we're doing. And I appreciate you telling us too about your um uh, your maples. You can't see again, people. Maple trees. Boomer. And the bees are all over. These South Carolina bees, they're not used to cold weather. But I think they've done real well. We've had people ask me about ants and sugar and everything. I have no problem with the ants and sugar. Bees don't bother with the ants. Ants don't bother with the bees. They don't make a, they're not going to make a, um, a nest in your beehive if you take care of your beehive. So that's this one. This is hive 302 grapevine. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Y'all take care of yourselves. We're going to open this hole up just a little bit for them right here. Here we go. We close it back up. Y'all give us a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, tell other people. And be happy. He's pulling all the paper out there. But y'all take care of yourselves. I'd be happy. If you need anything? Need to know anything? Let me know.